Hi, this is Officer Wright from East Brunswick Police Department Community Policing Unit. Today we'll be reviewing 10 common sense habits and tips for preventing car break-ins. Number one, keep your car visible. Park in a well-lit area near people or with an on-duty parking lot attendant. Avoid having your car concealed by large vehicles, fences, or, or bushes or shrubs. Thieves like to work in private. Number two, don't make it easy. Keep windows and sunroofs closed and doors locked. Almost one-fourth of thefts from vehicles are from unlocked cars. Number three, activate your vehicle's alarm. If you do not have a factory installed alarm system, please get one installed. Thieves like to work in silence. This prevents them from working in silence. Number four, hide your valuables. Many smash and grab thieves act on impulse. So keep your stuff out of sight, either with you or in a locked trunk. Don't count on the glove box. Thieves know to look there and they're easy to break into. Continuing for number four with number five, if you have a wagon or an SUV that leaves your cargo area open, get a retractable fitted cover to keep shopping bags or other belongings hidden. Number six, don't hand a thief your keys. Take your keys with you, and if you think you have a great hiding place for a spare key, car break-in thieves know to look above the visor, in the center console, under the floor mat, in the trunk as well. Number seven, stow your stuff before arrival. Experienced thieves often stake out parking lots to watch for people putting items in their trunk. Help prevent car break-ins by putting valuables like laptops, messenger bags, and electronic devices in the trunk before you get to the parking lot. Number eight, stash the evidence. After you put your stuff in the trunk, don't forget the electronic accessories like plugs, MP3 adapters, and navigation system windshield suction cup mounts. Thieves know what they're looking for, so hide the electronic accessories as well. Number nine, trust your instincts. If you see suspicious activity, find another spot to park. If you're concerned, tell the attendant or report your suspicion to the police. You may be helping keep another person from being a victim as well. Number 10, take one more step. Make sure you do not leave the garage door opener on the visor of your vehicle, and make sure that you do not leave the key fob to your vehicle in close proximity if your vehicle is parked in the driveway of your residence. Once again, these are the 10 common ways that you can prevent car break-ins. Please, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can contact myself, Officer Wright, at communitypolicing at ebpd.net. In the case of an emergency, obviously please call and dial 911. And in a non-emergency situation, you can dial 732-390-6900. Thank you.